So the question of do I need an MRI? One of my pet peeves is the patient that comes in and says that their sister told them, their physical therapist told them, someone told them that they needed an MRI. Now, most people do not need an MRI, but everyone wants an MRI. Um, when I was a resident, we were, MRIs were eh, newer, I guess. And actually in the beginning of the 80s was when they really became popular. But, uh, so they were fairly common, but now it, they're even more common. And there was a study, a recent study that showed that disc degeneration is present in pretty much everyone after the age of 60. But most of these people do not have any symptoms. And even in patients who are 30 to 39 years of age, on their MRI, they'll have disc bulges, they'll have disc herniations, they'll have disc degeneration, and they have absolutely no symptoms whatsoever. So getting an MRI and finding something on it really doesn't mean anything unless the patient has symptoms that go along with the findings on the MRI, and often they don't. So if you are considering surgery, yes, you need an MRI. There's an epidural steroid injection, we'll talk a little bit more about those. That's another good reason to get an MRI because you need to know where you have a problem. But one of the problems, and I see this with so many people, is that they identify with the findings on the X-ray and MRI, and then they use those findings to define themselves. Even someone in Feldenkrais training was like, oh, yeah, it's my annular tear. You know, it just keeps acting up. And <laughs> Her annular tear probably doesn't keep acting up, but you know, she sees that, that's sort of minor. Um, you know, my husband had back surgery before I even met him, and he's always very protective of his back. He used to play tennis. He apparently was very athletic. I've never known him to be athletic, partly because he sees himself as someone with a bad back, and it really limits what he does, and I see this with a lot of people. 